Denzel. <laughs> My mum and dad bought me a doctor's kit. Come and see the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> now I can be a doctor, just like my dad. Ooh, what are all these things? Well, I've got a thermometer and a bandage and... Prongy grabbers. Uh, yes, prongy grabbers. <laughs> but this is my favourite. It's called a stethoscope. A stethoscope, Denzel? Yes, you can hear heartbeats really loudly with it. Hmm. Um, Denzel, I can't hear anything. Wah! Whew, how about now? Wow! <laughs> You're going all bumpity boom <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello, junior doctors. Hello, Dad. Hello, Dr Wolf. I'm just going out to do some morning house calls and visit my patients. Oh, oh, can we come with you to do some doctor work as well? We've got prongy grabbers. <laughs> 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 Always handy. But I don't think you're quite ready for real patients yet, boys. Best you stay home and practice first. Bye-bye. Oh, but we don't have any patients to practice on. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Ooh. <laughs> there, there. You need lots of rest, Rabbit, so bed's the best place for you. Now, how's your tummy feeling, Tiger? <gasps> Dr Denzel, look! Penguin is all staffity bosh! <gasps> it's an emergency, Dr Bodge. We need to operate. Beep, beep, beep. Beep. Um, why am I making this beeping noise, Denzel? You can't do operations without beeping noises. I've seen it on the television. Okie dokie. Beep. Get Beep. ready. I'm Beep. going in. Beep. Beep. Pongy grabbers. Beep. Pongy grabbers. Beep. Sticking plaster. Sticking plaster. Beep. Beep. Lemonade. Lemo what? What do we need that for? <laughs> I'm really thirsty. <laughs> oh, sorry, doctors, but I need to clean up in here. <gasps> but Penguin's our patient. Oh, he'll be all right. Look, I'll put him in this sleepy ward with the other patients. What are we going to do now? Why don't you two go outside and play? OK. And I'll be needing my cloth back. Oops. Thank you, Dr Bodge. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Dr Denzel. Yes, but I wish I was a real doctor, treating real patients and rushing to real emergencies. Oh, it's broken. <gasps> that sounds like Mia. Better jump in our ambulance. Oh, Mia, we thought you had an accident. I have. The twitchlets all got on it and now the wheels have popped off. I'm glad you're all right, but we want a real emergency and... Oh, no, it's fallen off. <gasps> it sounds like we've got one. Woo, woo, woo. Fallen off. My towel rail. Oh, so you're all in one piece? Well, yes, I think so, Denzel. It's Dr. Denzel today. Oh, you're doctors, are you? Surely the noblest calling of all. Healing the sick, caring for the injured. You know, I've had some pretty odd ailments in my time. Yes, there was this one time I remember. Oh, makes my eyes water just thinking about it. You see, I was trying to squeeze. Ow! My legs have dropped off again. Huh? <gasps> 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 <sighs> Any road, I'm, I'm better now. <laughs> Oh. What happened, Pops? Oh, 
I'm trying to mend this old chair, but I can't get the legs to stay on. Are you sure your legs are OK? Ow! Yes. At least I think so, Denzel. <sighs> I'm never going to be a real doctor with a real emergency. But we don't want any of our friends to be hurt, do we? No, not really. Denzel, have you seen your dad? He hasn't come home for lunch and you know how he loves his food. He's never late. No, we haven't seen him. Oh, dear, I hope he hasn't had an accident. An, an accident? accident? Don't worry, Mum. We'll find him. Um, Denzel, where are we actually going to look for your dad? Ow! ow That's him! The woods! Come on, Denzel. I think we've got a real emergency. Oh! Dad! <laughs> Dr Wolf, what happened? Well, I wasn't looking where I was going and tripped over this log. I think I sprained my ankle. I can't walk. <laughs> Stand back, please, everyone. Let the patient have some air. Beep. Don't worry, Dr Beep. Wolf. Dr Beep. Denzel is here. Beep. You're going Beep. to be okay. Beep. Beep. <laughs> well, you Beep. wanted a real patient Beep. and now you've Beep. got one. Me! Beep. <laughs> Beep. Oh. Beep. Beep. Finished. Mmm. Excellent work, Dr Denzil. Nicely wrapped, not too tight around the ankle. Very well tied. Now try it on the one that I've hurt. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. <sighs> Beep. You're our first patient, Dr Wolf. Aren't you lucky? Oh, ho, ho. you could say that. There, all done. We'll help you to stand up, Dr Wolf. Hold on to us. Oh, ah, no, it is too sore. Oh, if only we had a wheelchair to get me home. What's a wheelie chair? It's a chair on wheels that you push with a handle. Hmm. Aha! I just had a bodge of boom idea. Don't worry, Dr. Wolf. We'll get you home. <laughs> Denzel needs to get Dr. Wolf back home to rest. And my bodge of boom idea will get him back in a spin. Let's get bodging! Can I take these? OK. Thank you. Yes. Thank you! Yay! Oh. Uh... Can you help me with some bodging? Sure, Budge. Am I going to pull through, Doctor? Oh, <laughs> yes, I think so. But we really need to get you back for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the wheelie chair! <laughs> it's brilliant! <laughs> Just the job, Doctor Budge. Oh, Brucey, what happened? He twisty boshed his ankle. And thanks to Dr. Denzil and Dr. Bodge, I'm on demand. Well done, you. No more house calls for you today, Brucey. Let's get you inside. The patient needs rest. And lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you coming for lunch too, Bodge? Oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks, Dr Denzel. But first I've got some house calls of my own to do. Brokeny chair, leggy big boo-hoo. Rickety, rockety, creaky too. All fall off, what do we do? We've got to make it better. Cloppity, stroppity in a stew. Towly, droppity, crash, bash, do. Off the wall, oh, what a to-do. It's time to make it better. Fix it up with tape and glue. Mending stuff is what we do. You can make it better too. It's time to make it, fix it, mend it till it feels like new. Mmm, delicious. I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Pongy grabbers. Beep. Pongy grabbers. Beep. Thank you, doctors. <laughs> I'm Bodge. Ooh. That sounds like Pops's rumbly moo didgeridoo. Listen. <laughs> there he is. 
What are you doing up here, Pops? Ah, <sighs> you know, just thinking. Thinking about what? Just about the outback. Where we used to live? Yes, it was so wonderful. Mmm, -mm. what's that yummy smell? It's Mimi's mountain pepper soup, a special outback treat, like we used to have. I'm going to take a look. Smells good, doesn't it, Bodge? It's mountain pepper soup. Pops's favourite. I know. He just told me about it. Hmm. Mimi, I think Pops wants to go home back to the outback. Oh, Pops loves it here in Giggly Park, Bodge. But sometimes he misses where he came from. You know, the smells, the sounds, the tastes. <laughs> here, let me show you something. When we lived in the outback, Pops would go on treks and follow trails to his special places. He loved the smell of the great big gum trees. Ooh! And the sound of water gushing from the waterfall. Wow! Then he'd do a spot of boomerang throwing. <laughs> that looks fun! And the day would always end with his best thing ever, a campfire sing-song, mixing together with all his friends. Hmm. Hey, I've got a bunch of boom idea. But I'll need your help later, Mimi. Back soon. Oh. Pops really misses all the things he loved in the outback. But my bodge of boom idea will bring those things home. Right here to Giggly Park. Let's get bodging! Whee! Look at me! I'm the highest! Yay, and I'm the lowest! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bodge. Want to play? Thanks, Denzel. But we don't have time. I need your help. Both of you. What with? An outback trek. What's an outback trek? You follow tracks and discover amazing things. I'm making one for Pops right here in Giggly Park. Of course we'll help. Just tell us what to do. Go, mix yourself together, adding fun all the while. Lend a hand. How's my special suit coming along, Mimi? <laughs> Bubbling away, Pops. Another hour and it'll hey? be just perfect. That's great! Another hour. Pops! Hmm? Pops! Come and see! I found something! Ooh! Coming, Budgie! <laughs> Look! What is it? I don't know! It's like an arrow pointing to who knows where or who knows what. I think we should follow it. What do you say, Budge? Budge? Hmm. Guess I'll follow it myself then. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 this is just like an outback trek. Mmm, <laughs> I know that smell. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello, Pops. G'day, Mr Cloppity. Hmm? Yes, a gum tree. That takes me right back to the outback. Ah, yes, the heady scent of the eucalyptus tree. <laughs> ah, the gum tree. The bushman's best buddy. Providing ornamental timber and essential eucalyptus oil. And the best wood for didgeridoos. Yeah, the glorious gum tree. Uh, the remarkable eucalyptus tree. Gum tree. Eucalyptus. Gum tree. Eucalyptus! Hey, hey, look at that! <laughs> Another track. Bye, Mr C. Bye, gum tree. Eucalyptus tree. <laughs> He's coming! Quick! Time to go round everyone up, Gavin! Aha! 
That sounds just like an outback waterfall. Oh, <laughs> oh this trek just gets better and better. Hey there, Pops. Admiring the Neo Classico Flow 2.0, are we? Top of the range pump in there, you know? It's just like the waterfalls I remember washing my hot, sticky, trek weary feet in. Ah. <sighs> Well, uh, happy memories. Um, better give the pump a rest. Oh, okay, Blair. Now, where's the next arrow? <gasps> Aha! <laughs> All done. Ready, Denzel? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <gasps> huh? Oh. G'day, Denzel. Is this yours? Oh, yes, Pops. It is. <sighs> if only I could throw it properly, so it will come back to me. Well, you've thrown it at the right person. How about I show you how it's done? Really? That would be great, Pops. Yeah. You just do it like this. <laughs> cool. Oh, <laughs> sure was. Just like throwing my boomerang in the outback. You try. <sighs> Boomerang and bing bong! No! <laughs> Thanks, Pops. No worries. Ooh, looks like I've got another track to follow. See you later. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> he loved it. Nice one, Denzel. See you at the hill. And remember, bring as many friends as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Food! Whoa! <laughs> I was wondering where you got to. Did you enjoy your giggly outback trek, Pops? I loved it! Smelling the gum tree, hearing the waterfall and throwing a disc like a boomerang. Ah, oh, I could have been right back home. But you are home, Pops. Come and see. Hmm? <laughs> wow, this is just like I remember. <laughs> I think you need a little more oomph with that, Bodgie. Maybe you could teach me. I'd love to. <laughs> hmm? Hello, Mr C. Good evening, Pops. <laughs> Mimi, Ruby. Hi, Pops. <laughs> That smells delicious. Hi, Pops. Hey there, Pops. Hello. Good to see you. Hello, Hi, Pops. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's an outback campfire sing song with my friends. My favourite thing ever. Thank you, Bodge. Oh, it's lovely to be all together, isn't it? Oh. Good food, good friends, good time. <laughs> mmm, so good. Good, Mimi. I guess home isn't just a place. It can be anywhere, as long as you have good friends to share it with. Gotta be the best recipe for happiness I know, Pops. Yep. One thing I now realise is... Homes come in all shapes and sizes. If you move somewhere new, making friends who aren't like you, well, different ones bring oh. nice surprises. <laughs> so mix yourselves together, adding fun all the while. Blend a handful of kindness and a mouthful of smile. Sprinkle in some laughter and a pinch of ever after. That's how you make best friends. Make the best of friends, friends, friends. If you break up, always mend them, friends. Kiss and make up and you never end them, mend them. That's how you make best friends. Make the best of friends, friends, friends. If you break up, always mend them, friends. Kiss and make up and you never end them, mend them. That's how you make best friends. So different, but you make best friends.